everyone <coughs> it's usman and uh, today i am going to record this video specially for uh, solving ssl related issues because uh, uh, you guys are having hard time understanding that how uh, you can get a valid and free let's encrypt ssl using cyber panel uh, i am going to discuss uh, various scenarios in which uh, like in, in one of them uh, where you don't have dns pointed uh, and in other scenarios where you have already pointed the dns and some scenarios in using with using cloudflare uh, anyways i have just installed a fresh cyber panel server and uh, i am going to access it now uh, so that you know that you can, how you can do this on a fresh uh, cyber panel server so let's see uh, how it goes i will log into my cyber panel server and uh, create a site first all right uh, so here is my cyber panel dashboard i will not discuss about how you can register a domain and how you can set up uh, a domain on cloudflare because i have already uh, done that in a, a separate video which i will link below in the description uh, so uh, you you have to use this website uh, dnschecker.org uh, to see that if your uh, dns is pointed because uh, the dns should be pointed towards your server ip if you need a valid ssl so uh, the uh, domain is in this scenario is uh, wpmotic.net uh, right now uh, this domain is not pointed to uh, the cyber panel server which i am using in this video uh, we can verify that from here i will paste my domain select a record from this drop down and click on search and you can see here that uh, right now uh, this domain is pointed to this ip 1341224342228 and our ip is uh, ending with 168 this is our ip this is uh, this is not the ip this is cyber panel port uh, well now i will create this website in cyber panel and uh, i right now i am not going to issue any ssl i will just uh, plainly create this a uh, website so select any php version and i will create the website well so cyber panel is creating your website okay so now i will go back to the dashboard and here you can see that the, right now there is uh, there is no ssl uh, and in this case if you go ahead and uh, use cyber panel to issue the ssl uh, you will not be able to do that the reason is uh, your uh, dns is not yet pointed to this server ip which is ending in 168 so let's see uh, what happens i am going to issue the ssl right now and we will see what happens and uh, at the same time you can come here on your terminal and see that what is cyber panel doing to issue the ssl so right now cyber panel is running this command to get the ssl and uh, cyber panel is not able to get the ssl for uh, first cyber panel will uh, try to get ssl for a uh, main domain and the ww uh, version of that domain as well if cyber panel fail to obtain ssl for these both domains then it will uh, try to obtain ssl for the main domain only so you can see that uh, cyber panel is uh, not able to obtain the ssl because your dns is not pointed this is the first case uh, first case uh, which happens with most of the users uh, because they don't point the ssl well if you come back here uh, you can see that uh, your website now have a self signed ssl so you see here that you have a self signed ssl uh, well there is uh, and uh, why we issue the self signed ssl is important because if inside cloudflare if you come here and uh, uh, later uh, once you create the site and you 
you now decide to point the dns of your website to uh, the server you will come here and uh, you will point the dns all right and i will and this cname record is already pointing to the uh, main domain so now both of the uh, versions uh, main domain and the www part of the domain is pointed toward this ip we will check here but uh, uh, the dns prop propagation is not instance instant it will take some time uh, for dns propagation to happen well you can see that uh, right now dns is already propagated 46.10184 and this is our ip address and uh, for now uh, we have uh, self signed ssl on server panel side and if i go here and uh, go in ssl and tls section so these are uh, some important settings uh, like if you select full uh, from these settings what you need is at least a self signed ssl on cyber panel side as you can see that encrypts end to end using a self side uh, signed certificate on the server side and if you don't have a self signed uh, certificate on the server side this option will not work and in this option uh, you don't need any ssl on the server side uh, it will encrypt uh, traffic between cloudflare and your browser and between cloudflare and server uh, you don't have any ssl so you need a self signed certificate uh, to use this option that's why cyber panel uh, issue the self signed ssl if uh, cyber panel is not able to obtain the valid let's encrypt ssl and uh, now you see a third option here uh, which is uh, full strict in this option you need to have a valid ssl on here self signed ssl will not work so what some users do is uh, they choose this option or this option uh, they create a site on cyber panel and there is no ssl on cyber panel and they uh, they start getting errors so i recommend that if you are uh, if you are right now developing your site and using a staging environment and using a local host file uh, that you use uh, this option and uh, on the server side you at least get a, a self signed ssl and with self signed ssl uh, you will also get an uh, error that the ssl is not trusted so you see that uh, the ssl is uh, not trusted because it's a self signed ssl and right now uh, if you come to the dns section and uh, i don't know what's okay so the full setting is selected and if i come here and uh, turn on this proxy for this and as well as uh, the ww part you will not get this error why because between your browser and cloudflare there will be a valid ssl and between cloudflare and server side there is a self signed certificate so you won't get this error so even though uh, you have a self signed certificate on your cyber panel side you won't get uh, an error all right uh, now uh, since the dns is already pointed uh, we will now uh, try to get a valid ssl for our website we will come here and uh, i will issue the ssl and you can see here that cyber panel will again try to uh, issue the ssl for wp motic and wp motic with www version well let's see what happens as you can see that uh, cyber panel have successfully obtained the ssl this time so uh, because our dns was already pointed so the ssl is now successful well uh, now if you come here uh, you will see that you have a valid ssl So you can see that you have a valid SSL from Let's Encrypt, which is valid for 89 days. Now, if you visit your site, uh, you should not get the SSL error. So you see, uh, you now have a valid SSL. So make sure uh, that before you create a site on Cyber Panel, you use this website and check whether your DNS is already pointed. And if your DNS is not already pointed, just get yourself a self-signed SSL 
uh, and later when you are ready to point the dns you can again uh, try to get an ssl now let's say uh, you want to debug that what is going on why you are uh, not able to get a valid ssl what you can do is uh, create a website and uh, i will choose something like ssl.wpmotic.net and uh, i will also choose ssl this time now cyber panel will try to obtain the ssl while the site is getting created so you will see here that this domain or you can say the subdomain is not pointed uh, right now towards our server ip you can see that there is no valid result here so i will click uh, create website and i will come here and here we will see that cyber panel is uh, after creating the website uh, you will see here that cyber panel will try to obtain the ssl for uh, you see that cyber panel is now trying to obtain the ssl for uh, these two domains so <clears throat> it failed obviously because the dns is not pointed and uh, we got a self signed ssl so uh, what you can do is uh, you can copy this command to find out uh, why the ssl failed you can copy this command and just paste it here to see that why ssl failed so uh, usually uh, let's encrypt uh, try to verify your domain uh, using the uh, file download method so you, uh, so you can see that uh, dns problem uh, looking uh, while looking for an a record for ssl.wpmotic.net uh, no a record found so uh, we will go ahead and uh, again add the dns record for this domain and then we will again try to issue the ssl so I will copy this IP address and click save. Uh, before issuing the SSL, make sure you don't turn on this proxy because Cloudflare prevent the uh, verification file from getting downloaded. So we will come back. I will uh, also add a record for WW version of the subdomain as well so that we get SSL for both of these domains okay i will come here and again issue the ssl and this time server panel should be successful we will check here server panel is trying to issue the ssl and let's see what happens so you can see that uh, the ssl is successfully issued well in some cases what happen is uh, uh, the, you don't point the dns and uh, you keep trying to issue the ssl so cyber panel will keep trying to get the ssl and there is a weekly limit so once that weekly limit is reached and uh, you will not be able to get the ssl even though the dns record is already pointed uh, so make sure that uh, you don't try to issue the ssl again and again uh, if your DNS is not pointed and uh, if uh, the one last thing that I want to discuss is that uh, if on the server side you have a valid SSL uh, as you can see that uh, now you have a valid SSL by valid SSL I mean that it's not a self-signed SSL then you uh, you can go ahead and uh, use this option but if you don't have a valid SSL on your server side uh, and you have a, a self-signed SSL then use uh, full option and if you don't have any SSL on the server side then use this option so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask and uh, make sure to use your terminal to find out what is the root cause for uh, not getting a valid SSL uh, thank you and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section